think of being in the ready position, but then again, if you're ready, you don't have to get ready. But I don't want you to think of, of this as the ready position. People have been saying that nonsense for like 100 years, and I see like 25,000 different varieties. I want you to get in what I would call the athletic position, okay? Be in an athletic position. So you don't want to be standing there like a little tree or a hamburger or whatever. So you want the weight, get your weight more forward, get your hands away from your body, okay? We're going to be hitting a volley here, by the way. It's not a ground stroke. So we want to be in what we call the athletic position. You want to be in the athletic position. No, no, I didn't, we're not balling yet. Keep your hands away from you. I don't want your hands in here like you're playing the guitar. Nothing a matter of playing the guitar because I think music is good. But your hands should be away in the athletic position. Does everybody got it? Okay, come back to this position. Now, show me the athletic position. Weight forward, you're on your toes. Now, listen to what I'm going to tell you. The best of the best of all the rest, when they play the nest, the first thing you got to do, you got to love the nest. The problem is, okay, a lot of people will show you how to volley, but you don't know how to play the net. And the only way to play the net is you got to come in and you got to get past. You got to come in and you got to hit balls in the net. You got to come in and you got to hit it long. But a lot of you, okay, especially more on the girl side, you'd rather, you'd rather die slowly at the baseline, okay? Because it's like, bang, it happens right away at the net that you lose the point. The more you fail, T-shirt, Mason in the house. Rick Mason. We're not related, but could be. Okay, listen. At the end of the day, you got. I could tell you guys about Pete Sampers. I saw this guy. Anybody remember him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I saw this guy play at the Easter Bowl. He got carved up like a Thanksgiving turkey by this guy who was 14 years old that already had a mustache and a beard. And Sampers saw us one and one. He was serving balling, coming to the net. Nothing to matter with that guy. He played number one at Michigan and Pete Sampras won the US Open six years later. And when you, he was at the net, before he even hit it, he's standing there like almost laughing. Not only was he knew where the ball was gonna go, okay, he could hit a drop ball. And the only way that that was possible, sure, you need some athleticism, okay, but you gotta fail if you wanna succeed. So let's get back in the athletic position. Everybody has to learn to play the net. It's the most neglected thing in junior tennis. Now you get to be like 16, you get bigger, stronger, your arms get longer, you get taller and you go, I'm gonna come to the net now. What were you doing at eight, nine, 10, 11, 12? What were you doing? You didn't wanna come in because you'd rather die slowly at the baseline. You gotta come to the net, okay? When it's short, don't be afraid to come to the net. You're gonna know where the ball is gonna go. It takes time, you're gonna know where it's gonna go. Now, the technical part. Everybody should have a continental grip, like the coach has told you. Your hands are in front. Your first movement, always square the racket in front. Always keep your hands in front. Anybody play baseball? Liam, hands in front, hit it like a bunt. Hands in front, hit it like a bunt. Okay, this is the number one mistake around the world. People prepare to hit a volley because you're taught in your mind, turn, take the racket back. You don't even need to turn that much and you're programmed to go back. Keep your hands in front because you volley with your legs. You keep your hands in front and you volley with your legs. The best of the best of all the rest. Okay, and I can go back in time. I've seen it, I've been there, okay, help mold a few people. They have no backswing, okay? There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. The best thing you can put in your head, if someone throws a ball to you, someone's throwing a ball to you, show me how you're gonna catch it in your right hand. Everybody put the racket in the left hand. Show me how you're gonna catch. Here comes a ball, show me how you're gonna catch. Every single person here, no matter what age or level, look where your hand's at. I've never had anybody when they say, show me how to catch, they go like this. They all go like this. Your first movement because you don't have a racket. When we have a racket, it messes up a lot of people. I cannot stress enough. Now, the movement. Everybody, get in the athletic position. Stop. I want you to start popping the popcorn extra butter. Bounce. But it's a, you, don't want, you don't want to bounce. Like three miles in the park, there's a golf academy. I would tell your parents, you're gonna take up golf. If you don't want to run, this is the wrong sport. If you don't want to bounce, start bouncing. You guys, you're not on vacation. Look, keep bouncing. Okay, now, when we keep our hands in front, 
Remember what I tell you guys. You want to pop the popcorn with what? Butter, extra butter. Yeah, not butter, extra butter. Keep popping. Look, just keep moving your feet. Keep your rack in front. Coaches, I don't want anybody taking it back. Look, just keep popping. Look, just keep popping. Keep popping. Keep popping. Less is more. Just keep popping. Let's go. Help some of the kids. Keep your hands in front. So, whenever you're at the net, everybody listen up. Be in the athletic position. Keep your hands in front. The more you fail, the more you're going to... You can't be afraid to come in. Every time you get past, you're getting better. Every time you dump it in the net, what happens? You get better. You get better. Every time they lob over your little head, because you got little arms and little legs, and you can't jump, what's happening? You get better. You get better. But you guys think it's the end of the world. I ain't coming to the mud. I'm not, I'm not coming to the net the rest of December. I'd rather die slowly. No, it's junior development, not junior final, your final destination. You got to work on your game, okay? When you do it now, you own it later. It's always a mad scramble. I've seen this movie my whole life. You get 15, you're bigger, stronger. I got to be more aggressive. I got to come to the net. Even if you come to the net, you've missed out of hundreds of thousands of repetition from seven, eight, nine, ten. And the more you do it, and then you have a little success, you get the big C. And when you get the big C, confidence, then you're going to want to do it more. And then you'll do it with conviction and you'll do it with passion. But if you don't want to come to the net and you're afraid, you're not going to come to the net. So you're not really developing. So I want you to pop the popcorn, extra butter. Come here, Jake. And the number one student I had long ago, Orville Riddenbacher, okay? He pops the popcorn, extra butter. All right, go to fitness. Let's go. You can have the popcorn, Mason. All right. Good job, you guys. Let's go. Fitness. Here we go.